Hello everybody, it's HackerX here with another tutorial. This time I'm showing you how to install Kali Linux on a virtual Oracle virtual box. This way it doesn't affect your actual computer and anything that goes wrong doesn't affect your actual computer. To begin you're gonna download the Kali Linux ISO file. Um, this is gonna take a while, so feel free to download that now. So you're going to start off by going to whatever browser you have, or you can use the direct link I have in the description below. Um, Kali Linux. Also, it's 3 a.m. I'm tired, and I'm typing with one hand. So, <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm tired, it's 3 a.m., I'm typing with one hand, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, Kali Linux 32-bit ISO or 64-bit. To test out, to see which one you have, give me a second. Click on your little start menu, you go to Computer right click properties and just scroll through it I have a 32 bit operating system and this is not really my good computer so yeah anyways download whichever one you have and um, stick it in the permanent location you want it to be once you have it set up you can't move it or else it kinda like messes everything up so let's begin click on new name you're gonna call this anything you want I'm just gonna call it Kelly Type, leave it on Linux, go to Debian, Debian, whatever. Next, I'd say you should at least have 500 megabytes, 512. But I'm going to set mine up about, make it run faster. Create a virtual hard drive, create. Next, dynamically, next. I'm going to put mine at, this is how much disk space you're going to have. I won't really be downloading much. Alright, so once you do that, it's going to pretty much be set up, but not really at all. Click on Settings, System, Processor, Enable. Make sure you click this. If you don't click this, it'll fail really, really bad. <laughs> Press OK to lock the settings. Start. Now, I made this recording before, and it took a lot to redo it, so um, the reason for this is because apparently I can only have 10, anyway, <clears throat> forget that. Alright, so this little window is going to pop up, and um, if you move it, it's going to say inaccessible, and it's going to ruin everything. So click on the folder to browse, and um, I, I it would be really cool if I could drag that here. here. No, didn't think so. Select where it is, the disk image, I have it right here. Open, start. All right, so you're about to go through the installation process. So go down to install. And here's where the kind of short, long process begins. Now select your language, mine's English. Select your country, United States, or whatever one you have. Don't follow me exactly. American English. All right. So um anyways, when you have a USB and you do this for that, you have to plug in and you go to the exact same process as this, sort of the exact same, pretty much the exact same. I just didn't want to do it to my actual computer, so yeah. So just let it do its thing. This is kind of like the beginning. All right, so enter your host name. I'm just gonna enter. No, whoops. Um, give me a sec. I'm typing with one hand so I can hold my microphone. Hacker X. Check. Domain name. Uh, Hacker X. Enter your password. Remember this password. Make it. Don't make it something you usually use, but just make sure you remember it. You're gonna need it every time you log into this. Confirm it. Enter. All right. So enter your time zone. Um, I'm in Hawaii, so I'm gonna enter Hawaii. Wait. Give me a second. I can. Uh, anyways, use guided. Use entire disk. Enter. Oops. Enter. Select disk. It's I, I only have one, but I'm just going to click enter. Enter. You can pretty much just spam that. Enter. 
Make sure you don't spam this one. Right to change this to disk, yes. Alright, so I'm gonna click control, right control plus F to full. Wait, I can't do that yet. I have to full screen. Uh, the video screen's kind of the same. Here's what's gonna take five. Blah, 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 I don't know. It's gonna take a while to do this, so I'm gonna click the little pause button thingy up here until it gets like 98%. Um, oh, wait, one second. Just to show you that I'm not doing anything like sneaky behind your backs. It's 3.38 a.m., 9.20, whatever. Pause. All right, I'll see you guys in probably a second. Bye. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I missed it. I just went, like, to the top of my computer when it hit, like, 98%. Anyways, right after you do that, this one was going to pop up, and you're going to click no. Okay, no. Don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. No one wants to do that. Alright, so, yeah, obviously nothing happened right after that, so, because I have a 10 minute time limit for after to <clears throat> separate another video, and I don't really care, as long as everyone gets some sort of use out of it, it's not a big deal. Control, control F, no. Um, wow, I should put an annotation up earlier to skip this, but now I'm forcing you all to watch this. And again, you could just skip this, whatever. Skip it now. Go ahead. Fine. Don't love you anyway. Okay, so once you do that, it's going to install the <sighs> GU GRUB bootloader. So you go ahead and let that do its thing. Alright, no, I'm just going to. Uh, okay, here we go. It seems this is a new installation, so make sure you click yes. Yes, yes, yes. Finishing the installation. You're almost done, guys. Just hang on about just a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, this is going to be a start to mega hacking. If you guys have a laptop or a phone with at least six gigabytes, uh, seven gigabytes of extra space on it that you don't use, be prepared to be able to download Kali Linux to your phone, your iPhone, whatever, whatever. But, um, doing this, you'll be able to take down networks, hack school mainframes, don't do that, educational purposes, blah, 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 copyright. Um, you can also hack remote, remote devices that are not in your network or LAN. You're gonna be able to, you're just gonna be able to do so many things, I just wanted to show you guys as much as I know. Or at least get you on the track to go to someone else if you guys don't like. If you guys don't like my channel, you can at least go to someone else and get this started because I didn't want to um, install this because I don't have a USB or a CD at this moment since I just moved I have to get all the stuff again and I want to unpack everything and find one little device so I guess this helps a lot I just want to show you guys and um, in exactly 40 seconds I'm gonna have to start another video <coughs> perfect I'm gonna just pause this to save time Alright, we're back. It's gonna restart and it's gonna do this. So press enter immediately. Just press enter when this little screen pops up. And if you don't, I'm pretty sure it's going to fail. Like I just did it. Or did I click enter? Oh no, it worked out. Anyways, um, I think so. Alright, new video start, new uh, clip video is hatching to it in 4, 3, 
All right, so we're back again, I guess, instantly. You guys didn't see that. I did. Uh-oh. Welcome to size full screen control F. Welcome to Kali Linux Backtrack 5, the ultimate pen testing offensive security as of now. With the best model ever, the quieter you become, the more you're able to hear. How amazing is that? We haven't even started yet. Alright, so to go ahead and press on the ads or press enter. The username, remember this, is R O O T roots enter. The password is the one you set up earlier in the installation. So enter your password and um here we are, Kali Linux. Well not exactly yet. Um this video is just to show you it's gonna be about twelve thirteen minutes long showing you just a couple things to get started. Alright, so make sure if you can adjust your sound here, roots, you can go to system settings. Um, this is where you click on your internet to start stuff up. This is how you open up your terminal. Basic stuff, if you don't know this. If you want to get right onto the hacking, click on applications, Kali Linux, top 10 security tools. You got Aircrack, Metasploit, John the Ripper, Wireshark, Nmap, um, Metasploit. You got some Android hacking tools. You got some s network spoofing, wireless attacks, password attacks. <laughs> You're gonna be invincible with, if you have a laptop at public places with this. Let's just make that straight. Um, feel free to enjoy this. You have different workspaces. Um, that's pretty much as much as I can tell you for the installation for the next part. Um, I'm sorry if I talked too much or didn't do it right or something. I'm just sorry, okay? If anything ever, just comment below or find another video if you don't like mine. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, or at least leave a comment or something. Tell me what I can do better. Alright.